again. That's right. My mom and I are heading back to North Carolina today. It is 10 11 a.m. and we are just leaving my sister's house and we are estimated to get home according to the GPS at 8 o'clock tonight. I don't go by this GPS. This GPS is never accurate. So God only knows what time we'll get home, but we will keep you updated as we go. This is some of the area that we are driving through right now. Very beautiful countryside. A lot of trees. A lot of trees, some barns. Deer crossed in front of me last night. Haven't seen the bear. There's a bear that roams the neighborhood, but the night my sister took me to the emergency room, we think he was in a back, our backyard. Didn't actually see him. Probably would have crapped my pants if I did. Okay, so I tried to go to Nikki and John's today to uh, finish what I started over there, but I couldn't even get onto the freeway. The freeway was so messed up. Apparently there was several more accidents and the um, the park the freeway was parked and I could try as I could I couldn't get onto it onto the 91 or the 15 I would have had to have gone by street probably up to the 10 try to blah 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 for those of you who, who know so I'm gonna try and do that again tomorrow but um, uh, I'm gonna continue on the kitchen today so I'm sure you're excited about that and um, yeah, I'll be doing some painting. Hey guys, you will never believe what happened. We stopped to fill up with gas and get a little bite to eat, and I bought some scratch-offs. I hardly ever buy scratch-offs because I never win. The most I've ever won on a scratch-off is a free ticket. Guess what? I won a hundred dollars. Yeah. Never have I ever won on a scratch off before, and I won a hundred dollars. That's going to come in handy for the trip. So, pretty excited. Okay, everybody. So I'll show you some of the spots that I need to paint. It's not much. So I have these little sections here that were never finished because um, I didn't finish the railing. I have chair rail that goes all the way around. The dining area so I have to put a little chair rear there and I just need to paint this this hasn't been painted since the um, kitchen was put in and there's a little bit over on this side as well I've taped it all up I'm sure you guys didn't need to see any of that and I will need to paint that as well because I have changed the color uh, I, I like the green but both Val and I uh, like to have more of a grass green color instead of this um, more of an arts and craft kind of color. We're going over the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Isn't that a beautiful sight, guys? Look at how beautiful. for the cheapest paint because I want to be able to get as much done with as little pot money as possible and of course that means I need to do two coats on this. This is not covering quite the way I want it to but um, it's such a small area it's going to take less than the gallon to do two coats. It's just a little extra work. Now I did buy this brush and um, it's a cut-in brush and I really really like it. It's got a rubber handle um, it's probably the best cutting brush I've ever ever used to cut into these corners. Really nice. Okay guys, so we just stopped and got some gas and had some dinner at IHOP. Mine was pretty good. Mom's was pretty tough. Her meat was pretty tough. But my potatoes were cold and hard. 
and mom's was warm and hard. Is that what you would say? Yeah. Yeah, she had corn. How was your corn? It was okay. I had um, broccoli. Dinner was nothing to raise about. My mom said dinner was nothing to rave about. My broccoli was very good. You don't find too many places that you eat out that cooks their broccoli the right way. And this was cooked very good. I liked my broccoli. I liked my tri-tip. It was very, it was cooked very good. Mine was not tough, but mom's was. But anyway, we're back on the road again. We are almost through Delaware. Right? Are we in, in Delaware? Washington. Washington. We are almost through Washington, D.C. and into Virginia. Then we got Virginia and about two hours left of North Carolina before we hit home. So we got about five more, five and a half hours. Yep. Uh, we got about five and a half more hours. It's six o'clock right now. <sighs> it's been a long day. So, but we're going to make it. We're not going to stop. Unless, of course, we see a casino we might stop and spend the night at. Other than that, we're going to drive straight through. All right, so my next project here to get things done has to do with this vent that goes to our heater air conditioner. And you may have seen me move this before and was wondering why it's still off. And that's because I, in the process of moving it, I knocked a big chunk of drywall out. So I'm going to uh, be fixing that, touching that up, and uh, I'm going to have to paint the, the uh, cover and then put that up. So that'll be done. I'm going to just stick a couple of pieces of cardboard in here and uh, mix up some um, patch all called Presto Patch from that. It's just uh, plaster of Paris. And fill that up. And uh, uh, I doubt if I need to have to sand it. I may have to sand it a little bit, but uh, the wall has a texture to it, so you won't, probably won't even notice the difference. Okay, so there it is. I gotta move quickly because it does dry kind of quickly. On the fast side, I put a little piece of cardboard in there because I like to have something for it to stick to since it's just a big clump of clay. about this stuff is that it doesn't shrink which if you were using drywall the drywall will shrink on you so, so you just put it on exactly the way you want it to go and that'll probably be fine won't even notice it Well, uh, that should dry very quickly, and I should be able to um, touch it up with the paint, which I got more of this color, and uh, put the cover over it. Uh, we finally made it home. That was the longest day in history. I'm serious. It was the longest day in history. But we're home. We're home. And I'm playing Uno, getting ready to play some Uno, Uno. with Crystal Uno. and Corey. And look who's here. Come here, Angel. Come here, baby girl. You have to see now, anyway. Come here, baby girl. Ah. Hold on, I'm getting her. Ah. Look who's with me. Mm -hmm. My pretty little angel. Mm hmm. So anyway, I'm going to say goodnight for now. I hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, all that happy crappy stuff. And we'll see you all tomorrow.